Hello students, my name is Professor McFadden. I'm speaking to you from Youngjin University inside the studio room. Welcome to our online class. Today's contents, we will do a small introduction, we'll do class orientation, and then we'll have a beaver lesson. So first, my name is Vincent McFadden. Or I can say, I am Vincent McFadden. I'm from Philadelphia, USA. Here's the USA. Philadelphia is here, <laughs> on the East Coast. Uh, New York is about two hours, Tushikan, Korea, New York. And Washington, D.C. is here, and that's about three hours away, Seishikan, Korea. So now let's do a class orientation. In the class orientation, I will talk about an online tutorial and the rules and my contact information. So you know this, this is uh, the YJP website. Uh, so you can log into your YJP website and you can click here, Iganishu. When you go to Iganishu, you have many options. You can choose your classroom here. So here are my classes this semester. Uh, here I will post some notice. Gongji Saha, is that right? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and then here I'll post instructions for the lessons. Sua Kyoje Chaoyoshi. Here we'll have our Kwaje. And here I will give you an online quiz every week. Please take the online quiz that's here. And students, I will give you some small homework assignments. You can post them here. I'll ask you some questions later. 나중에 질문 물어볼까요? 여기서 대답할 수 있어요. And 근데, if you have any questions, you can post your questions here as well, and I can answer you. But the best way to contact me is through email. Here is my email. Vincent.mcfadde at gmail.com. My name is Vincent McFadden, but email and also. So, 조심, 조심히 하세요. My father is Ed, so please don't send a message to my father. Uh, in your email, please include four things. First, please include your name. Second, please include your hot bun. Third, please include your class name. And fourth, your message. So here's an example. Number one, your name, Kim Chun Jae. That's my Korean name. <laughs> Number two, please write your hakbun. My hakbun is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Number three, please write your class, Jung Ja A or design. Number four, please write your message. Hello, professor. I didn't understand many things about the video. Can we video chat uh, on October 1st? And I will respond to you. Thank you. I will respond to you and I will send you a message. How do you want to video chat? We can video chat on Google Meetings, Google Meet, or on Zoom. So you can choose what is best for you, Google Meet or Zoom. And uh, we can make a yaya, uh, yaya. I think is the Korean. We can make a, a, a reservation together, and we can have a, a discussion about what you didn't understand. And ilte uh, we can talk about the grammar. Here are some online rules, students. Uh, I will post these online. Uh, just basically, uh, please take the online quizzes. Uh, please pay attention in our classes. Please respect me and the other students. Please don't write bad words to your friends. Uh, please uh, work hard in the class. And I know English is not your major, but please try your best. And uh, number six, our class rules may change. And the grading will be explained later. 제가 아직 
Morgeseo. Uh, so uh, I can tell you about that more later. Okay, now on to our B verb lesson. Uh, B verbs. In Korean, you say, B dongsa. Right? <laughs> B dongsa. So, why do we use a B verb? We use the B verb for three reasons in this class, anyway. Se gaji isayo. So, chokonje, how someone feels using adjectives. Today we will study adjectives. Adjectives in Korean are kyongyongsa. I'm so tired today. Ah, oh, I'm so tired today. Tired is the kyongyongsa. So, ita ga kongbo harkayo. Dubonje, we use B verbs to describe nouns. For example, he is a student. Student is the myongsa. And here is the B verb, bidongsa. And the third reason we use B verbs is uh, for using pronouns using B verbs, dimyongsa. So we could say, like, those are pencils. Itaga, those gongbuharka. And we have the B verb here, are. So, let's first talk about how someone feels with adjectives. So it's uh, feeling, uh, nikki. So here are some feelings. Please listen and repeat. Happy. Sad. <laughs> Angry. Hungry. I'm so hungry today. I didn't eat lunch. Sick. Oh my god, I'm so sick. Oh, sick. Tired. Full. I ate too much. I'm full. Good. Good job. Acting time. How are you today, Vince? Oh, it's me. <laughs> I'm happy. So first, let's, at, look, let's look at positive questions and positive answers. So positive, that's uh, positive, que uh, positive questions and positive answers. Uh, so, am I happy today? You can say yes, I'm happy today. Are you sad today? Yes, I'm sad today. Or yes, you, you're sad today. Are we sad today? Yes, we're sad today. Are they angry today? Yes, they're angry today. So, yes, you are happy? 네, 당신은 행복해. Yes, we're sad. 네, 당신이 슬퍼요. 그렇게. And next we have here, we have different rules for the pronouns he, she, it. Is he hungry? We can say yes, he's hungry. So 이렇게, yes. The pronoun, 비동사, and then the 형용사. Is she sick? Yes, she's sick. And finally, is it full? So it may be a dog. We could say, here is it. Is it full? Yes. It's full. So just remember, it's the for a positive 질문할 때. Yes, the pronoun, and 비동사, and then 형용사. So next, look, next, let's look at negative adjectives negative answers. So, you can say, am I happy? No, I'm not happy. So, it's the answer, no, I, and then bidongsa, not, and then hyongyongsa, happy. Are you sad? No, you aren't sad. So, remember, it's the no answer, you, and then aren't, and then the hyongyongsa. Sad. How about this one? Is he sick? No, he isn't sick. So it's the they got the answer. No, he is the pronoun, 
isn't is the be on sa, and then you can use the adjective from your sa here. So let's do one more. Is it? Let's say the dog. Is it sad? Is it full? No. It isn't full. So we could do like that. So the the uh, another reason we use uh, be verbs is to describe nouns. So let's now look at some nouns. Nouns in Korean you say myeongsa, myeongsa. So we have two kinds of myeongsa, two kaji isseyo. First is singular nouns. Singular meaning is one, hangyeba, one. And we have plural nouns. Plural nouns mean, I think in Korean you say yorokke, yorokke, I forget, many, many. So when we look at singular nouns, we have to always count. So you could say, for example, a firefighter. Han one firefighter. A student, one haksen, han haksen. A dog, han han kanaji, maybe han nari, ah han nari, yeah. And you could say a cat, han nari, or han goyani, and an apple, an apple. Uh, han -saba. But we have some different rules. Notice here, here is a cat and an apple. Way dire. So if we have the ending, A D I O U is a molum, we can say an apple. Here is an A. Chopon uh, letter is an A, so we can say an apple. But here, C is one of these. It's a jalum. C is a jalum, so we say a cat. Chaun a dog, chaun a student, chaun a firefighter. But your visa, mom inika, we can say an apple. Uh, and we have our plural nouns. For plural nouns, we just s kuchododeo, firefighter, students, dogs, cats. So we just put the s at the end. Uh, so what are some nouns? We just uh, uh, but let's look at some more now. So please listen and repeat. A student, one student. An apple. A pencil. Colored pencils. Good. And here's just something you could stop the, uh, you could pause the video and look at this, students. Uh, you, maybe you already know this from high school. Um, we will also be using our uh, uh, different pronouns, uh, possessive pronouns. For example, uh, is this your puppy? Yes, it is. It's my puppy. So, or a negative response here. Uh, no, it isn't. It's her puppy. So students, you should study the possessive pronouns. Uh, you can pause the video and I'll give you three seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, good. Oopsie. So, let's practice. So here are some questions I have here. So number one, is this a pencil? Oh, wait please, here, let me get a pencil. Oh, it's a pen, but let's pretend it's a pencil. <laughs> is this a pencil? So you can answer. Is this your pencil? And number three, are you a student? And number four, are you all students? So let's look at let's look at number one again. Is this a pencil? Is this a pencil? So can you answer using a bidonza? Maybe you can say yes, bidonza, blah, blah, blah. Is this your pencil? Is this your pencil? No. <laughs> no, so no, blah, blah, blah. Make what, right? And then number three, are you a student? It's han, han myeong. Are you a student? So you can answer number three. Using a bidongsa, yes, blah, blah, blah. And then number four, are you all students? So 
모든 사람들이 보고 있어요. So many students. Are you all students? So let's look at the answers in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, here's the answer. Is this a pencil? Yes, it is. Sorry, it's really a pen. Sorry. <laughs> yes, it is. You can say yes, it is. Is egosin, right? Is this your pencil? Is this your pencil? No, it isn't. No, it isn't. It's my pencil, yes? It's my pencil. Nikko. <laughs> Number three. Are you a student? Are you a student? Yes, I am. You can say yes, I am. Me? No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. You? Yes, I am. And number four, are you all students? You can say yes, we are. Yes, and then uh, we is the pronoun and are is the bidongsa. Good, good job, students. Okay, now let's look at some more pronouns using be verbs. Uh, these pronouns are a little tricky. So this is the difference between this, these, that, and those. So we're going to look at singular and kakapta and far, morda. So what is this? What is this? It's kakapta, yes? So it's a banana. We have the uh, pronoun here, the bidongsa, hange, and then banana. It's a banana. And if the banana is far, morda, the banana is far, hange is sunya, you can look at the singular far. What is that? Morda, what is that? Kakupchi aniya, it's a morda. So what is that? It's a banana. It's a banana. Tida tokata ya, you could just say it. Kakumian, you could say it. Morinian, um, you could say it. So that's okay, same answer. So what is this? It's a banana. What is that? It's a banana. He's okay. You could also say this is a banana and that is a banana. And then next we have here Molda, Kakapta, uh, uh, and uh, 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 many, many uh, bananas. What are these? You can say they are bananas, and if they're far away, Morda, you can say same. They are bananas. What are those? They are bananas. So you can pause and study this. And three, two, one. Next. So let's review, students. Uh, today we study be verbs, and we learned how someone feels using adjectives. Kamyongsa, she is hungry. Remember, this is the pronoun here. Here is the be verb, and hungry is the hyongyongsa. We also studied using nouns, be verbs and nouns together. We are students. We is the pronoun, are is the be verb, and students is the noun. And we also studied more pronouns using be verbs than yongsa. This is a pencil, and it's my pencil. So students, uh, I want to ask you a question. Please, on the YJP, please introduce yourself on the Q&A tab, on the Q&A tab here. Please answer these questions using be verbs. <laughs> what is your name? I'm Vincent McFadden. Please say, I'm blah, blah, blah. And please don't forget your period, jump. So, I am blah, blah, blah. And number two, where are you from? All students are from Korea. Yes, I know. Please tell me your city, Doshi. So where are you from? I'm from Philadelphia, Panjong, comma, USA. I'm from Philadelphia, USA. Where are you from? Are you from Pohang? Are you from Daegu? Are you from Seoul? Please let me know. So you can just write number one. I'm Vincent, I'm your name. <laughs> You are not Vincent McFadden. And number two, where are you from? I'm from blah, blah, blah. I'm from Daegu. I'm from uh, Poa. Students, thank you very much for watching. I hope to meet you soon. Uh, here is my email once again. Uh, please be safe and uh, have a good week. Bye-bye.